Hey guys, Zot here and welcome to another video. Since the start of patch 8.3, we've had many adjustments to the corruption system, and nerf after nerf to whatever the flavour of the month corruption currently is, with the meta ranging from Echo in Void dealing insane damage, to Twilight Devastation one-shotting, all the way up to infinite stars raining terror from above. However, now there is one corruption that's just head and shoulders above the rest, and without some tuning, will remain to be so. I'm of course talking about Versatile. Versatile is the versatility amplification corruption, giving either 6%, 9% or 12% bonus to your overall versatility. So what makes this corruption so much better than any other one? Well, first is just the plethora of nerfs that have happened to every single damage corruption, with Gushing Wound being the last one and most recent to be hit. This leaves us now with just passive stat amps, proc amps and a few oddball scenarios like Ineffable Truth being viable. So what's the reasoning behind Versatile being so much better than the other stat amps, such as Expedient, Severe and Masterful? Well, let's take Destruction Warlocks as an example. Destruction before recently highly preferred both Mastery and haste above versatility, with a Destruction Warlock's mastery almost being a superior version of what versatility currently is. Well, it all comes down to modifiers and how easy it is to gain versatility stat rating. Let's take a look at gear for instance. There are three different trinkets in the game that provide a huge bonus to passive versatility, whereas there are only one mastery trinket and one haste trinket in comparison, which when you consider you can be running up to 72% amplification is a huge amount. Gear though is not the only or main reason behind this, more importantly is essences. Whilst there are some minor increases to both haste and critical strike from blood of the enemy or even the focus in iris, none of these compare to the versatility stat rating gain you can get from Lucid Miner and of course Conflict and Strife. Let's take a look at Lucid Miner. This provides 412 versatility at neck level 80 when used as a miner and it has very high uptime. More importantly though, Conflict and Strife is the big one, providing again a 472 bonus to your versatility with near 100% uptime for most classes, which of course gets doubled when you can dispel crowd control or interrupt somebody, giving you a whopping 944 versatility at neck level 80, which of course then further gets modified by your 72% versatile. So you can just see how out of control this is getting, but there's even more. When stunned, Conflict and Strife takes all of your versatility rating and straight up doubles the defensive portion, meaning if you have 100% versatility, in turn gives you 50% damage reduction. So when you're stunned, this will now be 100% damage reduction, which currently on live rounds is not too far away from a reality. And regardless of all of this, versatility standalone as a stat is just insane right now with how much third party damage there is going out. Because remember, versatility right now not only benefits your own damage, but also increases the damage of things like trinkets and essences. And with Drestagaf, Bike and Reaping Flames being at their current state, you can see how and why versatility and versatile has become the strongest stat and corruption in the 8.3 meta. Alright, so with vendors recently being added into the game, how much versatile and which classes should be looking to purchase it? On live servers currently as of the creation of this video, at Max Cloak you have 77 Corruption Resistance Baseline, with 10 added from playing one of the newly added Essences, giving you a total of 87 Corruption Resistance. Ideally, in PvP, you never want to exceed the 39 Corruption Threshold. What that means is we have a total of 126 Corruption Resistance to work with for PvP, and with Versatile costing 20 Corruption for 12%, we can wear a total of 6 pieces of Versatile Free and be left with only 33 Corruption, which can simply be added to every week the Corruption Resistance goes up enough, giving us currently a huge 72% worth of Versatility Amplification. The last thing to cover then is which classes should be looking to use Versatile. Well, it's very simple. Versatility is the best defensive option hands down, while still providing a good benefit offensively. The only other comparable options are Gushing Wound, which recently suffered quite a big nerf, 
and ineffable truth which is only really usable on holy paladins, resulting in pretty much every class now favouring or making very good use out of versatile. As mentioned though, ineffable truth for holy paladins or gushing wound as a pure offensive option for some classes. Primarily though, melee, especially rogues, windwalkers, DHs and DKs. Alright then guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope this was useful and if you do have any more questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.